Hi everyone, I hope that you're safe and healthy at home. My name is Cole Greco, class of 2018 at WNJ, and I was a part of the inaugural class of Washington Fellows. And I'm currently the guest coordinator for CBS This Morning, a two hour live network news broadcast for CBS News in New York City. And I'm here to talk to you today about the Washington Fellows program, WNJ, and how that led to my current career. So first off, WNJ, Washington Jefferson College. Why did I choose it? I chose it for a multitude of reasons. The first was the community aspect and the community feel. Whenever I toured the college campus, I was stopped and talked to by a staff member, a faculty member, and a student along the way that weren't part of my tour. They just stopped and talked to me because they saw the tour happening and wanted to spark up a conversation, ask why you were coming here which was really great. And I have to say that continued throughout my four years there. Um, staff members, faculty members, students, I still keep in contact with most of them, if not all of them. I actually just had my old uh, internship boss. Uh, I interned in the Office of Conferences and Events doing events on campus, uh, such as baccalaureate, commencement, matriculation, the Netflix series Mindhunter was on our campus, and my boss was Maureen Valentine, of the Director of Conferences and Events. I was her intern, and we just FaceTimed today to catch up. And that was a connection that I had at WNJ in a community field that carried out throughout my four years here. Two of my really good friends, a part of the Washington Fellows Program, uh, who I met the first week that I was on campus, they we became friends over our four years, really great friends. And uh, a couple months ago, we got to go to their wedding. They just got married. So the community aspect and that you're not just a number on campus is really true. And that's why I chose WNJ, and that's what it showed me throughout my four years on campus, and even now into being an alumni. The second aspect is that the academics I knew were going to be no holds bar and were going to be competitive with other colleges and universities across the United States. So our discussions, the lectures, these really fun group projects that you do and classes along the way are something that you're going to take with you for the rest of your life. I remember I was at my internship in New York City with CBS News in between my junior and senior year and I was talking about projects that we had done or different classroom work with the other interns that go to colleges and universities across the entire United States and also had studied abroad a lot and they said that some of the stuff that we were doing was stuff that people in grad school were doing and people that they had never heard of. So it was really nice to know that the academics at WNJ were very competitive and very um, held up against people across the United States. And the third aspect was that you could get involved. You could really do anything, start anything, be anything. You've probably heard of the Magellan Project up to this point. A lot of my friends did the Magellan Project, traveled all over the world. A lot of students do it. Uh, at WNJ. A lot of people also start their own clubs and student organizations or become highly involved in a lot of clubs and student organizations. For me, I was not only an intern in the Office of Conferences and Events and a Washington Fellow, but I also interned for the Office of Student Life and helped do all internal student communication on campus. And shooting this video right now and what I'll edit in with pictures and stuff, I learned that a lot from Justin Swank, who's the Director of Residence Life right now. And he taught me all of this about video editing. And I also worked really closely with Dean Eva, who is the advisor for the Washington Fellows Program and uh, who I become very near and dear with and who we text and call and visit with each other as often as we can. Those are the people that I work with and got to do this job with, um, to do internal communications at the college and do newsletters, video work, social media work, and really learn communications from that perspective before starting a career in journalism. I also started Washington and Jefferson College's first ever podcast called The Towers Podcast, where I profiled people on campus, got to interview them. I interviewed President Knapp, um, some of my internship supervisors like Maureen and uh, Dean Eva, and really got a feel for what the campus community was like and also got journalistic experience. I was also a resident assistant on campus, amongst other things. So uh, I got to make my own path along the way. So now another part of what I'm here to talk to you about today is the Washington Fellows Program. The Washington Fellows Program is this co-curricular experience. It's what you're doing outside of the classroom to enhance your leadership skills and to become more thoroughly a Washington and Jefferson president. We're the presidents. So it's guided by these five characteristics, leadership, integrity, growth, humanity, and thought. And so you can do activities, different programs, do leadership experiences, other things throughout the year. And at the end of the year, you'll do a write-up, a reflection activity of each of those areas of a program, maybe an activity that you've done or something that the fellows have put on that you really thought 
uh, pertain to leadership or that you really thought pertain to thought, that characteristic, and reflect on it and show how you've grown over the year to enhance these uh, characteristics that make you a Washington fellow. So for instance, my freshman year, we put on, I was just cleaning out my room today and I found this. We put on Tom Talks, the first annual Tom Talks, which still continue on today. It was our take on TED Talks. And I was one of the speakers at the first annual Tom Talk. You can probably find it on YouTube. So have fun searching. And we got to put on this program about um, our own take on TED Talks and talking about these very deep theoretical issues or, or what, whatever we, we were really passionate about and take that and make it into our own program. And now with the fellows program, you take that back and reflect on it later and you show what characteristics you thought it really applied to. For me right now, it probably applied to leadership. I was so proud of leading, helping lead the way and creating this program and creating this uh, Tom Talks to be a program at WJ that still continues on to the way and being part of the group that led that initiative. It was such a cool experience. And so now all of that has led to my current job and career aspirations of being a journalist and I'm the guest coordinator for CBS This Morning. So what is that? So I am the first person to contact that any guest that we have live on this show in the studio, um, I'm their first line of contact in the morning. I'm the person that makes sure they get to the studio, make sure they get their hair and makeup, get tea, coffee, water, make sure they're briefed on their segments, make sure they know what their graphics look like, everything along those lines to make sure that we have not only a news making interview, but a very smooth interview and that everything runs according to plan. And also that we have everything that might, we might not know the whole information or they might have said something in a pre-interview that we just want to clarify, making sure that is all clean, um, you know, tight, tighten up by the time they get on air. And also I do that for the co correspondents and contributors as well. So any correspondents, CBS correspondents or contributors that, that we have on air, I'm responsible for them in those same aspects as well in the morning. So I'm sort of like the filter. My boss calls me the glue of the morning. I make sure they go down and do their voiceovers, that they make sure that their piece is edited correctly, everything like that. So that by the time we get on air, everything runs like a well-oiled machine and it's very neat and tidy. So, but also it's a really cool job because I get to meet a lot of really cool people that are on our show, like Oprah Winfrey, pop singer Lizzo, um, rock star John Bon Jovi, uh, Karamo Brown from Queer Eye, talk show host and chef Rachel Ray, and famed journalist Ronan Farrow. And recently I got to travel to Charleston, South Carolina for the CBS News and Congressional Black Caucus co-hosted the Democratic presidential primary debate. And I got to be a network rep with a candidate, mine was Mayor Pete Buttigieg, and host and be with each candidate throughout the night and make sure that they're well attended to and get a chance to talk to each one of them backstage throughout the debate and throughout the commercial breaks and take them to the spin room, be with the media throughout this entire time. It was a really awesome once in a lifetime experience that I will remember forever. And also we hosted our shows down there. So doing a live show remotely was something that I got to learn um, as well. And along that, I also get to pitch editorial content. I also get to help produce pieces and report on stuff. So all of that I get to do in a day. And I have to say, I, it would not be po would not be possible without WNJ, my experiences at WNJ, the fact that I had this community feel where journalists are in a community. We have to work very collaboratively together. And that's what Tom Talks also did within the Washington Fellows Program. We had to work very collaboratively to get this program up and running. Um, I also would say without WNJ, you know, my experiences in conferences and events where I learned a lot of production and my experiences in student life with Dean, Eva, and Justin, you know, honing these skills, knowing what communication was, knowing what a newsletter was, knowing what vid video editing is, what I'm doing now, that all goes into broadcasting, goes into knowing it. Knowing social media is a very big aspect of journalism right now. So all of that helped me lead to my current career aspirations. So I can't say uh, welcome enough. Congratulations on your admittance into the Washington Fellows Program. Congratulations on your admittance into WJ. I really hope to see you on campus in the fall um, and be in contact with you as an alumni as a program and get a chance to meet with you. If you have any questions, I'm leaving my contact information at the end of this screen, um, at the end of this video. Uh, feel free to contact and reach out to me with any questions, comments, anything that you want to know. And I really hope to see you at Washington and Jefferson and as a Washington Fellow in the fall.